So the 2024 Cup America is just around the corner. And over the next few days, I'm going to preview each and every one of the team's hopes and dreams heading into this year's tournament. In today's video, we're going to take a little look at Venezuela. That's right, folks, back once again with another preview video. Today is all about Copa America, boys and girls, and the hopes and the dreams of all the nations taking part in this tournament over in the United States. Today, we're going to preview a nation's hopes heading into that tournament, and we'll get to it in a second. If you knew where you've been, smash your subscribe and your one-stop shop for Copa America is right here under one Ruski. Of course, we're going to cover each and every one of the nation's hopes heading into this tournament. Have they got a chance to win it realistically? We'll talk about that and more in a second. A big, big shout-out once again to the VIPs. They are the patrons you know who you are but anyway let's get into it all right then folks let's take a look at venezuela that's right coming at you over in copa america 2024 been here many many times 19 times in the past have venezuela their first was back in 1967 they've never ever won the thing though but the best ever performance was fourth in 2011 their manager at the moment is fernando bastilla of course with the star man being yangel herrera uh, of course, they're coming at you over in Group B, a difficult Group B, uh, where they've, of course, got to lock horns against Mexico, Ecuador, and, of course, the reggae boys, Jamaica me crazy, of course. A uh, quick look at the group itself. Uh, of course, they'll kick off the campaign against Ecuador on the 22nd of June before me meeting Mexico, June 26th, match day number two, and they'll wrap it up against the reggae boys on, 20, on the 30th of June. Uh, 2024 that is the game that that they must not lose for me uh i think you know when i look at this uh, they, they, i don't have much hope for venezuela to be honest with you but don't let that put you off i think if they can beat jamaica or jamaica and uh, get a couple of draws against ecuador and mexico five points would just do about uh, enough for you guys to get through even there is an argument that you could possibly just win one game and that might be enough or win one game draw one other game four points could do it for venezuela as well, so my gut feeling is that they may struggle in this group. I think both Mexico and Ecuador have a lot of talent, um, but uh, hey, funny old thing is, is football, you just don't know. 11 or 2 to win the group, they are, of course are underdogs here, uh, according to my data 13 and 8 to qualify as a whole, whether it's first or second. To win the trophy, 66 to 1, they are long shots, uh, I would imagine. And again, looking at this. Uh, I do think they will struggle to get out of the group. So group for me, currently ranked according to my eyes, 54 according to FIFA. So they are one of the lower lower ranked sides in this tournament coming at you over in America. So Venezuela to struggle for me. Um, but uh, hey, if they were to pick up a win against Jamaica and a point elsewhere, you just don't know. Well, there you have it, folks. There you have it, folks. What are your hopes and expectations for this country's dreams this summer? Are they, of course, contenders to lift up the trophy? Let me know your thoughts and opinions about their, uh, their, their plans for the summer. Do you think they could be in the mixer? And, of course, don't forget to smash your like and smash your subscribe as we look forward to a summer packed of international football, including Copa America. We'll be back with, of course, non-stop coverage, previews, reviews, and even some watch-alongs. But until then, guys, I appreciate you being around. Until then, subscribe, smash the like, and we'll catch you later for the next one.